What's up Capricorn? Trust your intuition for guiding you to this last quarter moon in Scorpio love reading. So this is covering January 15th through the 17th. So last quarter moons come in between a full moon and a new moon. So it's the waning moon. We're releasing energy, letting go. And then Scorpio rules the Yoni region, the reproductive center. So there's this energy of death and rebirth, transformation. So this is really a moon phase as a collective that's pulling for us to let go of an energy that's in the way of our transformation. So let's see how this relates to your love reading. Let's go Capricorn. Clear energy for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to see about the forecast for the last quarter moon in Scorpio for their love life? What is the clear energy? Ooh, that one came out right away. They're telling me to put it back in though. Okay. What's the clear energy for Capricorn? So we have abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. Love to see that. Give me more for Capricorn. Intuition. You already know the answer you seek. And one more for Capricorn. Too many, they're telling me. Okay. What's the energy for Capricorn's love life? Soulmate. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. So what I'm getting from this Capricorn is that there is um, a very, very loving energy with whoever it is that you're attracting into your love life. I feel like this person isn't necessarily here right now. I'm kind of getting that with intuition, soulmate. Like it makes me think of a more spiritual energy that might, ne blah, 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 might not necessarily be in the present right now, in your present reality, but I feel like they're close. So let's get a little bit more. Tell me more about this energy for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know about who is in their love energy, their love forecast for the last quarter moon in Scorpio? This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek, so maybe you have met this person. You might have energetically met this person too, and what the hell do I mean by that? I feel like you and this person share a vibration. You and this person are going to meet on the same plane, the same vibration, the same type of momentum. So you kind of being in your own element, this person being in their own element, somehow it's going to lead to one another. So even if you haven't met this person yet, I feel like you're very close. You're on the path, you're on the right track. So give me a little bit more for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to see about who is in their love energy? For the last quarter moon in Scorpio, what's coming up? Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this energy, this soulmate energy coming through for Capricorn. Flip the deck over. So we have the nine of cups in reverse which is Pisces energy they're telling me to take out the top one the six of cups in reverse Scorpio energy goes with the moon one more for Capricorn the world there's your Capricorn energy okay this also has all the fixed signs on it so that Scorpio Aquarius Leo and Taurus you could be dealing with one of those signs but what I'm getting with this is that there's somebody it almost seems like for some of you this is someone that you've dealt with before because the nine of cups in reverse is like this energy of discontentment upright it's magic right there's a genie crazy things are happening so it's a very satisfied contented energy and then the six of cups in reverse is like this energy of being really caught up in the past missing someone because it is about past uh, memories, childhood, when it's upright. So in reverse, this is like severe nostalgia, really missing somebody and feeling upset in some way about it, discontented. And then we have the world, your Capricorn energy. So this is an ending. The world ends the major arcana. It's possible with the 21 on this card, you dated this person in 2021. <clears throat> it's also the 22nd card. So maybe you dated them in 2022. Um, but it seems like it, it's weird because it almost seems like it's over. This could also be the energy that you and this person have really been through the ringer before with past relationships. 
um, and it's like you're leveling up because the world is also about a graduation, a level up. It's not just an ending, it's a transition. So this is either the energy that you and this person have been through the ringer with each other or with other people. But there does seem to have been an ending recently. So give me more for Capricorn and this person. What do I need to see for Capricorn? Or what should Capricorn see? We're all seeing this at the same time, right? <laughs> what does Cap need to see? Tell me this energy. Tell me about this energy for Capricorn. Confusion, exactly, okay. That starts to make a little bit more sense, oddly, because I kind of get that with the Nine of Cups in reverse. I feel like someone that you are connected to, that you've either had something with, for a lot of you, you have had something with this person and you know it's not, it, it's weird because it seems like it's over, but it's not really over. And now I'm hearing that Lenny Kravitz song in my head, it ain't over till it's over. My God, it's almost just like this energy of like, it's like you both know your soulmates, but then you've been through the ringer with each other, but weirdly it's like you're not together. And maybe it's because you had to take some time apart to kind of get to know yourselves a little bit more. Let me see more through the charms for you, Capricorn. They're telling me to take my left hand. What does Cap need to see with this last quarter moon? So you have an avocado. <laughs> so you know what's been ringing through my head a lot lately with avocados? That, I don't know if you've seen it, it's like this little boy who gets an avocado for Christmas and it's a video that was really, really popular a few years ago. But he's just like, it's an avocado and he's so grateful for it. And I'm like, okay, so gratitude with avocados. So I'm almost getting this energy where this person is very, very grateful that you are in their life, like a soul like you exist, Capricorn. But at the same time, I feel like part of what's making them discontented is they know they're supposed to be with you, but they're not for some reason. So give me a little bit more through the Astro Days for Capricorn. Last quarter moon in Scorpio. So we have Mars and Taurus in the third house. So Mars and Taurus. Mars is kind of lusty, you know, it's very male energy, can be very aggressive. It's all about the approach, starting something. And then Taurus energy is uh, kind of like very comfortable energy. It's the house of value or the sign of value. So there's this energy where someone really sees you for your beauty, your value. Um, they're really coming towards you. In the third house, it's all about communication and intellect. And like I said, this person's definitely vibing with you on some sort of plane. But the weird thing is that you guys aren't really together right now. But it seems like this person's like gunning for you, coming for you no matter what. It seems like it's only a matter of time, but Capricorn, this is very interesting that you guys aren't together. I feel like you just needed a moment apart for whatever reason, but this person's very attracted to you and even more attracted to your mind. So I'm kind of getting that with confusion too. But yeah, it seems destined meant to be with soulmate. So I would give it a little bit of time, a little bit of patience, but it does seem like this person is very much energetically coming towards you. So I hope this resonated Capricorn. There is a sale going on on my shop, themoonempress.com. So if you're interested in a reading, check that out. Otherwise, I will see you guys in another moon phase reading.